we'll see. His head's, his head's out, Corley. Come on. Don't stop. Don't stop. Push. One more time. Push. He's here. Wow. He's beautiful. Hey. He's born. KG, start over two large four IVs and uh, pulse oxygen, please. And so, sorry, you can't Tony, go in there. I have to be with my wife. Well, I've got a few questions first. What do you need? How long has Carly been unconscious? 40, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I've got to go. No, no, no. Wait, wait, go, wait. Tony, Tony i got to go. You need to let the staff do their work, okay? okay. Can you? Sorry. Look, we've got to get, we gotta get, we get the baby checked out. i got to be with her. You know that. I got to okay, be with okay. her. Okay, let me take him. Just let me take him. All right. All right, let me take him. Hold on. Yes, I get a photo, sir. Hey, big boy. Here's your uncle. You got him? You got him? I'll take care of my son. Take care of myself. I will. We were paged to provide support for a newborn. Yeah, this is him. Uh, what's the baby's name? Morgan Corinthos. How old is he? Uh, uh, he's, just, he's just a couple hours old. He seems to be breathing okay, but he, he was diagnosed with a hole in his eye. And we'll take him up to neonatal, give him a complete exam. Okay. He'll need to come with us. Okay. Hey, hold it. Hey. 
I gotta stay with that kid. Okay? I don't think so. You're under arrest, Morgan. Carly lose consciousness as soon as she was shot. The baby was coming. I told her to push. I know she heard it because the baby was was born. I held held the baby. And I know she saw it because uh, she smiled. Did she speak after she was shot? She told me she loved me. How bad, ladies? Carly hurt? Um, CAT scan will tell us exactly where the bullets lodged and the extent of intracranial bleeding. You'll be able to get it out, right? I have to wait on the CT results before making a decision on how to proceed. Do you know what kind of gun she was shot with? Nine millimeter automatic. Then it wasn't point blank or she'd be dead. Yeah, it was, a, it was an accident. How did it happen? Who fired the gun? It was an accident. Is, uh, sorry, this is Morgan, all right? The preliminary exam indicates he's healthy, and we're prepping for an echocardiogram to determine the severity of the defect. Would you like a moment with your son? Uh, you know what, actually, I'm the, I'm the godfather. Are, are his parents here? Yeah, they're in the ER. His, uh, his mother's in critical condition, and I promised to stay with Morgan until his parents could be with him, so... Yeah, you know what, I'd like a moment with him. place you should be. No, I couldn't stay away. I, I had to see the baby. Why? I tried to steal that child from his real parents. As a result, I lost everything that mattered to me in my life. Our marriage. And you. They can. Your mom and dad love you more than anything. in critical condition. No one's allowed in right now. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to disturb her. I just want to sit with her, keep her company. We're about to take her in for a CAT scan to determine the extent of the damage. And then you'll be able to, to operate. You need to prepare yourself. We're doing everything we can, but um, Carly may not survive. Here's the gunshot woman we called in. Is Carla Karen to the hospital? Get him hooked up and see who are the fatal parts. She's pregnant. She's probably just giving birth. I'll check into it, okay? Just How hard can it be to find out if a pregnant woman was brought in by us? Here. How is she? There's a bullet in her head. The same bullet that went through you. Doctor says you're strong. I knew you would be. Your mom and dad are strong too. I know that you had a had a tough couple hours. But it's gonna get better. You're gonna go home. You're gonna meet your brother. And your mom, she might actually have to stay in the hospital for a little while, but she's gonna make it through. She always does. And then everybody's gonna be at home. The whole family. Together to love you. Oh, yeah. Jeez, that's okay. And this is your Aunt Courtney Morgan. And she wants to meet you. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah. Hi, buddy. 
the hole in his heart completely healed. He, he's, he's perfectly healthy. It's a miracle. You, you want to hold him? Head supported. And go. Hey, Marcus. Welcome to this world. You are so loved. I'm going to prep you for surgery soon. You shot me, even though your own wife was right behind me. Charlie was screaming. In labor pains, but you didn't hesitate to pull the trigger, did you? I would never let you hurt my wife. Charlie's condition is deteriorating. The longer we wait to remove the bullet, the greater the chance of brain damage or permanent coma. Then take it. Take out the bullet, then. But unless we wait for Carly to stabilize, she may not survive the surgery. So if you operate now, she, she could die. If you wait, she could live, but she could be brain damaged. Is that what you're telling me, Tony? That's about it. Carly's brain could do permanent damage if we wait for her to stabilize. If we go in right now, the surgery could kill her. What do you recommend? Both options are risky. It's really up to Sonny. Oh, right now. Prep OR3, stat. And you hang on, okay? You stay strong, Carly. Carly, they're gonna operate. And you're gonna wake up, and you're gonna be with your family. You're gonna get through this. Yes, BP is 164. Saturation remaining at 98%. Okay. So how long would the surgery take? <clears throat> Tony said the uh, operation's gonna last at least a few hours. No, Courtney's in the nursery with the baby, so. Good, because I don't know what want him Why don't you come down and see him? Can't. Just, you know, just for a couple minutes. Can't. Sonny, there's nothing you can do here. Yeah, I can just wait, I can pray. Cardi would want me to be here. Carly would... <sighs> would want you to be with your son. I know she 
Cody saw the baby before she passed out, but I, I should I should have thought before I went no, through that. So it, was, it was an accident. She was screaming. I went through. He was, he was standing right over. What was that supposed to do? I just shot him. No, you, you, you didn't mean to hit her. You were trying to save her, right? My bullet's in her head. Don't you want to see your baby? if she's going to wake up. See, we just... Right now, there's just so much. We don't know. Well, we're just going to have to wait. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because even if everything goes very well, recovery's going to be a very long, very slow process. So, what are we going to do about baby Morgan?
God. Please tell, please tell mommy that my ba baby brother needs her too. You know, you're not supposed to take off by yourself for any reason. Michael, let's go to your brother, okay? And then we'll call Letitia and we'll tell her where you are. Okay. told Bobby that we'd be happy to take him home with us. I can't ask you to do that. Oh, we want to. Sonny, we love Morgan already, and Michael needs us, too. Well, I don't know how long Polly's going to be in surgery. Yeah. You know, Sonny, that, that doesn't matter. We're going to take care of Morgan as long as you need us to. Well, I mean, I don't know. Thank you, guys. Hey, just take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, it's going to be fine. <sighs> we'll check in with you later. All right. We got the bullet out. We don't know the extent of the damage. Come down here, Brittany, please. You know how long Carly's going to be unconscious? Uh, we don't know. Yeah, we won't know her condition until she wakes up. Is there any brain damage? It's hard to tell at this point. Uh, Maximum swelling occurs in the first 72 hours after surgery, and uh, we'll just have to keep running tests to uh, determine brain function. What are the chances uh, that Cardi's going to recover? We don't know if she's going to wake up, and if she does, the extent of the damage. I'm sorry, that's all I can tell you right now. What are you doing, Heather? You're under arrest. Officer? I'm not... Hold on, Sonny. Hold on. Make this no, no. Okay. I'm staying with my wife. No, that's not an option. What do you mean it's not an option? There she is. Move! Get a hold of her. Get off! Sign up. They call me! Unfortunately, she's in here because of you. It was an accident, Rick. I understand that. DA Bolden disagrees. He's charging you with attempted murder. My wife's in a coma, Rick. I got a newborn baby. Sorry, You're not going to do this to me right now. Don't do... You son of a Out bitch! Don't do this to me! No change. What about the baby? It's good. It's good. Courtney's with him right now. Michael was pretty upset. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he, uh, he slept on the floor near Morgan's crib. Courtney stayed with him all night in the nursery. I made bail. What the? What was saying to him? DA's office is holding this up. They said something about needing another signature. Get the lawyers on. Attorneys can't take back the bullet that you fired. You don't know what happened. At that house, Rick. Alcazar is impressing charges. Yes. There's another victim to consider here. Carly can't really speak for herself. Sonny made bail. You gotta release him. Just as soon as the facts are clear. These are the facts. Rick, these are the facts. You lock Carly up in a hole. You're trying to do the same thing to me. It's not gonna happen. You are not gonna keep me away from my wife. She... She came out of the ICU so fast. But she's stable, so it's okay. When will she wake up? I don't know. There's really no way of knowing. Well, does it help if you talk to her? I believe it does. I have a better idea. Security officer. You brought someone to see you? Your baby boy. He's so beautiful. He's just like you imagined. Oh, yeah. oh. No, Carly, he's... 
you fought really hard to be here. <sighs> he needs his mom. He needs you, Carly. He needs you to wake up and show him how much you love him. You and Carly had an argument. She left the penthouse in tears. Try to get away from you, so she ran to that house that you bought for her. You had your chance. You can't question her now, Rick. You followed Carly, and you found her alone with Lorenzo Alcazar, so you shot him in the back. The bullet exited Lorenzo and struck Carly in the head. That's attempted murder. Sonny thought Carly's well, life was in danger. Well, How many times we have to tell you, fire. you're making this personal. No, Be careful. This is my job. Well, well, well. Public enemy number one and his trusted sidekick number two. You're free to go. Charge is pending. You gotta be in court. No, whoa, you're not going anywhere. I'm taking you off that. Now on, 24-7 on the Corinto shooting. We're gonna take him down. And since you seem to be the one that rattles his cage, you're gonna lead the team. No, mm. I won't do it. Can you feel your baby? He's right there beside you. Carly, the hole in his heart had closed up on its own. He is so perfect and beautiful, but he needs you. We all do. They're gonna be here soon? Yeah. Oh, there he comes. Oh, he just wishes Sonny would stay away for good this time. Bobby, don't. You know how Carly can really hear? Come on, sweetie. Look, Courtney, I'm sorry, you know, but I've been around Sonny and Carly a lot longer than you have, and he has caused her so much pain. And there's so much violence and so much danger in his life, and now he's brought another child into the world. Sonny is a good father. I mean, you know that he will put Michael and Morgan first. I've already lost one daughter, and I don't want to lose another one. Sometimes I wish Carly loved anyone but Sonny Corinthos. Despite the hell around you. And now you're gonna wake up. And you're gonna take that child in your arms. And you're gonna go on protecting him this whole life. I know you're fighting your way back right now. And I'm gonna be right here beside you. And we'll fight together. to change the course of a life. Carly, I know it could have been different between us. No, this is my territory. The families need to respect that. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any excuses. You got another job for you, interesting? Mm-hmm. All right, meet me at the docks in 10 minutes. Thanks for lunch, baby. All right. Mm. You have time for a walk? I'm sorry. I got I got, I got some business I got to take care of. All right. Will you be home late tonight? Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm not really... Um, I can't be home. Don't wait up for me, okay? Because I don't know what time I'm going to get back. And I don't know what time I'll fall asleep. Oh, yeah. I might just be waiting up for you. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I'll get you to the car. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. My purse. Oh, 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 oh I watch it. Oh, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Mm. My mind was somewhere else. You know what? It's just fine. I can mm. handle it. All right. Sorry. Yeah. 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 
something I get what you're doing with the cops. I'm not pressing charges against you for the shooting. You want me to owe you, so that way I'll just look the other way when you come visit my wife. Is no, that what you're trying to I do? I am not it's... pressing charges against you because I understand what you did. You walked into that house, you heard Carly screaming out in pain. You're already on the ragged edge. I engineered that. I drove you to the brink, and I almost died for it. You think not locking me up makes us even? I'm taking responsibility for what I did. You should do the same. Carly was in that house alone. She fell down the stairs because you drove her away. I hate that bastard. But he's right. The biggest threat was my fear. you away because I made my nightmare come true. I hurt you and our family. But I swear to you, you come back to us and I will make like this never happened. I'll bring you home and give you the life you always wanted. The EEG shows brain activity. What, does, it, does that mean she's dreaming? Possibly. But in any case, it's a very good sign. All right, all right. That means you're dreaming. Wow. Hmm. Let me tell you what we're going to do. When you are up for it I am gonna take you dancing like that night we were alone in the club remember that huh you get at this <laughs> well, academics aren't known for being good dancers <laughs> passionate women inspire us Ah, like in the history books. Queens and goddesses. Exactly. Mm. I could see myself as a queen in a past life. Mm. Yeah, I'd have servants in a castle. Men would start wars over me. Would you enjoy that? Yes, I would. <laughs> I've always been a troublemaker. Until I met you. You know, I came here to punish my mom and wreck her life. But she stopped me from making that mistake. I didn't want to see you hurt. But I've never listened to anybody before. Somehow you reached me. I think I've been waiting for you my whole life. You hate it. No, it's just, um, it feels, uh, familiar. Good. Because I want you to feel welcome here. No. 
change. No change. Do you want me to go? Go sit with her for a little while? No. Nah. So, I'm gonna go right back, you know. Cardi, I just thought Cardi would want me to spend some time with her, so. getting out there i love it i'm looking forward to the snow oh not me i grew up on a beach in florida hey how about you puerto rico okay so why are we here right exactly <laughs> okay that is a serious ring there <laughs> thank you okay someone must love you a lot whoa He's right here mm, this is my husband <laughs> hey carly roberts nice to my meet pleasure. you uh, excuse me, I don't mean to rush. Oh, that's okay. Uh, okay. No problem. <laughs> hey. I was afraid I'd miss you. The meeting ran long. Yeah, well, what'd they say? Well, well come on, are those, are those, can you believe how, how great this is, flowers? Or, God, how awful flowers? I got tenure. Ah! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, oh, oh these flowers are for you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, that is great. Okay, so, so, come on, come on, um... The Medici stuff, right? That that sold them on how the um, how the paintings reflected the values of the time. Yeah, you were listening. Yep. Yeah. Well, of course I was listening. So, what the committee say? Oh, uh, you just call it academic gobbledygook. Professor of the year, three years straight, more publications than anyone in the history department. It is not gobbledygook. <laughs> they had no choice, and they are so jealous, aren't they? They grilled you. You are incredibly insightful. Oh, yeah, well, not everyone would agree, but why argue? So you know what this calls for? Hmm. A celebration. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh. Would you okay. join me for dinner tomorrow oh. 
at my new apartment. Oh. oh. <laughs> Do you want it up there? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Professor Alcazar, yes. I would be honored. <laughs> Did you call a meeting of the five families? I don't want you near my wife. Shut up. I need to know. It's today at the West End Warehouse. Do you know what it's about? You shut up. She shows up here again. We know what you do. Message. Do you received. hear what I said? I will stay away. What do you want to do about this meeting? I can't. I can't. I can't think about how to call it. It's not important. What do you want to do? Look, I can't think about business right now. All I can think about is. Responding to anything. It's, you know, I don't even yeah, think she's dreaming. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just, just, you know, we can't tell right now. Yeah, well. Did I tell you she smiled before she passed out? She told me she loved me. I'm thinking, I don't, I mean, maybe she. Maybe she didn't realize that I shot her. Maybe she just felt the pain in her head. She was so caught up in the baby to even notice, you know. I think maybe it felt like... So what do you want to do about this meeting? I trust you to handle it. I don't even want to hear the details. All that matters right now is... is Cardi. She'll find her way back. boyfriend just got tenure at PCU. That means he can never get fired. Did you know that? I mean, who ever heard of a job like that? It's not <laughs> like he doesn't deserve it, though. He is the most popular professor on campus. <laughs> he sounds wonderful. Oh, yeah. We're celebrating tonight, so I just, I want everything to be perfect. We'll have fun. Yeah. Thanks. Busy, I like it. <laughs> oh, you didn't get that at the supermarket, did you? <laughs> you know, they were just out. Oh, well, my mom, she buys champagne at the supermarket. I don't think it's got the year on the label. It's probably just got the month. <laughs> Is this your mother in Florida? Yeah. Yeah. And then my adopted mom. I can't really get used to thinking as Bobby as my mother yet. 
it hadn't been for you, I um, I never would have told her that I was the kid she gave up. I will always be honored that you confided in me. And I will always be grateful that you cared enough to talk me into um, telling the truth. So... So... To my favorite professor with tenure, who can never, ever, ever get fired, no matter how bad he messes up, but of course he won't. <laughs> and to Carly, who keeps it all in perspective. That's good stuff. I'm glad you like it. I wanted this evening to be perfect. I was just telling a customer the exact same thing. You know, I was actually telling her all about you, and um, she was very, very impressed. <laughs> so have you been getting calls from tons of people to congratulate you? Are you is your family just going nuts? Um, actually, I haven't told them. Why not? Well, I made myself the black sheep of the family when I chose teaching over the family business. Don't tell them to get over it. <laughs> Seriously. If your family can't appreciate you, it's their loss. Thank you. That's a, that's a good sign, right? It can be. That means, I mean, she's still dreaming. That's what you told me before. I'm still concerned about the amount of brain injury she sustained. I don't mean to be negative, but you need to understand that the longer Carly is unconscious, the less chance that she'll wake up. There's no change. Carly, I know you're 
finding your way back, don't let go. Please don't leave us. Your children are waiting. They need you. Carly, I need you. My families are history. Their leaders are dead. So is Jason. I am in charge now. And this is your one chance to deal. Jason was at the table with the five families when my men opened fire. I told them not to leave survivors. This is your last chance to work with me, Sonny. Let go. Get out of here. You are in no position... Get out of here! ...to give orders. The only reason I left you alive was because I have a soft spot for children. Hmm? How could I leave your baby all alone in this world? Hmm, poor little tyke. His mommy's brains are creamed corn. Uncle Jason has surely bled to death by now. Where does that leave... Morgan, hmm? if I take away his daddy, who will take care of the poor little orphan? Corinthos answers to no one, huh? Well, guess what? You answer to me now. I run this territory. You just retired. Because if you don't, everyone you love will disappear. Your precious baby. Your little carrot top. Your spunky sister. And what is left of your wife. Your days are numbered. Really? You lost, Sonny. You lost. Your enforcer is dead. And unless you show me a little respect, you will be too. Tell them, Morgan. I need an outside line. Desk phones are for hospital okay, no, personnel. No, no, you have to understand something. This is an emergency, okay? Thank you.
Max, listen. You seen Jason? Was he at the warehouse? Sonny. You get hit? No, I had my vest on. Tan me out. He's dead. So were the others. It was Fate's hit. Page, Dr. Jones. Carly Corinthos may be waking up. There's no change. She squeezed my hand. I said her name and she squeezed my hand again even more time. It later. was a reflex. She responded to my voice. Carly, if you can hear my voice, squeeze my hand. Hey, Tony, maybe she's dreaming like you said before. Sonny, Carly's in a coma because she was shot in the head. There's been no sign of improvement. And at this point, I really can't tell if she's ever going to wake up. Before, about you coming to visit my wife. You want to shoot me again, you're welcome to try. You know I'm not going to hurt Carly. I won't really even hurt you either. Is he delusional or is it just me? Look, I'm going to put guards. No, I call you. No, no, because yeah, I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit where the nurses are. I'm going to put guards around. I'm going to put guards around. Guards are part of my life. And my life put her here. So what do you want to do about Faith? She thinks you're dead. She came to the chat where she told me so herself. She wanted me to retire. That won't be the first time she's wrong. It's going to be the last time. Because I'm going to finish that bitch tonight. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Are you going to eat all of that? Um, help yourself. <laughs> okay. It's okay. You know, this place used to feel so empty, kind of like the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I know, I hate eating alone, too. It's kind of how loneliness works, isn't it? The little things. Mm -hmm. A meal, a sunset. How to spend your evening? Carly. Before we met, I was thinking about going into business with my brother. Yeah? What kind of business is that? He's a criminal. <laughs> right. That's funny. <laughs> That's the family business. Yeah, in South America? Actually, we're all over the world. You're, um, you, you come from um, a, a, a family of um, international criminals? Yeah, they deal drugs, arms. It's very lucrative, actually. Wow. I just wanted you to know. Yeah, okay, so that's why that you're the um, black sheep of the family, right? Yeah, I'm the dreamer. I'm wasting my talents. I should have been a lawyer or something I'm used to the family. No, but you're, you're, you're a scholar, and that's um, important. Yeah, it's, it's going to matter. It is, in about 100 years or so. Thank you. <laughs> um, God, do you know that um, every girl on ca campus has a major crush on you? Yeah, seriously. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Listen, I was going to leave poor Charles before we met. I mean, the thought of spending another winter there was like, uh, anyway... I, I don't know where I'd be right now, or if I'd even be alive. You, you saved my life, too, you know? You don't have to say that. No, I mean it. I came here to ruin Bobby's life, and I would have done it. I was going to take away everything that she loved most. I would have done it. 
but you stopped me. And now I, I don't have the desire to hate so much. It's not important. I want to move forward. I want to I want to start a better life. Well, on that note, um... Hmm? What are you looking for? That's your son. What? Uh, there it is. <clears throat> I've been thinking pretty carefully about this, and, uh... I want to do it properly, so... Step one. <clears throat> Caroline Lee Benson. Will you marry me? Really? Is that a yes? <laughs> a million times over, yes. Oh, oh. oh look. This is for you. Hey. Wow, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It belonged to my grandma. Well, what is it? Is, is it a garnet? Yeah, that's right. to wear it as I am honored to give it to you I never thought I could be so happy Get rid of the five families. You left me alive. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Your careless faith and your people are sloppy. Jason's alive. You didn't know that, did you? Huh? Huh? Did you know that or not? No, you didn't know that. My man, not to shoot him. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to scare you. That's all. I just wanted. I just wanted to get your attention. Okay. I wanted you to take me seriously. Okay. This town could be ours, Sonny. We could run it. You and me. And I have cleared the way for us. Sometimes, all right. I saw that Tagliati had to go, and I thought, why not send a message? Clean house. Scare a few men. Make it so easy. Do you hear me? Did you see how easy it was? It was so easy, but I did not touch you. I didn't. I knew that Jason would walk away. I told my shooters not to kill him. They were to look sloppy so that he could escape. You see, that was the whole idea. Keep the cops looking for Jason, okay? He was the decoy. Just take care of your family. Just take care of your family. I'll take care of business. Just until Carly gets better. Look, you don't have to be upset about this, okay? I'll do whatever you want. gathered here in the sight of God to join Caroline and Lorenzo in holy matrimony.
do you promise to love, honor, and comfort him in sickness and health, forsaking all others? I do. <laughs> with the power invested in me by the state of New York, and with the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I didn't use it. What, what you t did Faith get out of town? She was at a party on the terrace. No witnesses, no protection at all. Well, what happened? I had my finger on the trigger. I couldn't shoot. I'm out of this. Done. I mean, I'm out of the organization. Obviously loved you a lot. Yes, yeah, she did. She loved me a lot. She was very loyal. And I killed her. You're in charge now. It all it all belongs to you. The casinos, the waterfront, the transport network, everything I thought was so damn important, everything I risked hard his life to keep. No. No, son. I'll, I'll, I'll run things for you until Carly gets better. No, this is... I'm not going to take what you... You need to grow up here. This is not about loyalty. It's about business. I can't run my territory if I can't shoot a gun. I'll shoot, I'll shoot it for you. Oh, you're going to... You're going to shadow me? You're going to run things in my name? I, that's not going to work, and I don't want it to work. I shot my wife. You understand that? I shot my wife. It's the last time I shoot anybody. Guns are for people with nothing to lose. That's when you started carrying one. You had no past, no conscience. And I made it easy for you because I told you. I told you who to shoot, when to shoot. And, and, and you made it work for yourself. You don't. You didn't hate the way I hated when I shot Alcazar. When I pulled that trigger. Sonny, you, you were trying. Come on, you were trying to protect Carly. It never occurred to me not to shoot. I knew she was right behind him. It's easy, Jason. It's easy to pull the trigger. It's easy to fire, but you can't. You can't take back. What happens next? You can't undo the damage. The only way to stop it is not to carry a gun. And if I can't defend myself, I cannot run my territory. You, you know that the only way out is to disappear. Well, okay, I'll disappear. As soon as, you know, Cardi gets better, 
I'll take her and the kids. We'll go. We'll go someplace else. If that's what you want. You know what I want? I want Carly to wake up. I want her to be able to hold her children. The night Lily died, I learned you can have a family and you can have a business, but you cannot have both. When I shot Carly, I learned that truth all over again. The difference is, Carly's alive. So are my children. I will not lose that. Okay, I'll take over. Thank you. I'm going back to the hospital with Carly and... has lately. The truth is I went to I went to kill Faith. And for whatever reason I, I couldn't follow through. I can't find another gun. Can I get you something? Another drink, maybe? No, thank you. I read in the paper that um it happened here out in the parking lot. And maybe it's none of my business, but I, yeah, I just... you're right. Don't... You're right. It's none of your business. Listen, Lily and I, we weren't great friends or anything, but she was really nice to me, and she didn't have to be. And I just can't imagine that she'd want you sitting here alone in the place where she died. Maybe you didn't hear me, but, uh... I killed her. I think that might be your guilt talking. Yeah? Yeah. How do you know? Because the police in this town hate you, and if you had anything to do with your wife's death, I could imagine they would be, come and arrest you. My wife died because I was going to leave her for another woman. That's the kind of husband I am. Her father thought she was on her way to Puerto Rico, so he sent somebody to put a bomb in my car. I was supposed to die. Not her. Well, then it was your father-in-law's fault, not yours. Well, now we're going to die together. Because I'm going to shoot him. His people are going to shoot me. Say la vie.
Lily wouldn't want you doing this. What the hell you know about my wife? You waited on her at Kelly's and that gives you the right to speak for her? Did she know that you were cheating on her? Yeah. And she went back to you anyway? Yeah. It's because she loved you. She wouldn't want you to die. Lily wanted... She wanted a child. She didn't get that. She wanted my love. She didn't get that either. I married her for her father's territory to get me out of jail. That's who I am. I lie. I steal. I run down. Whoever gets in my way. I love power. And now, it's all I have. Okay. So is Lily stupid or blind? Hmm? Did she make up the reasons to forgive you and go back to you? She made up the good that she saw in you? No, she loved you. And maybe you weren't worth it, so be worth it now. You start over, you honor her life. says she, she was pregnant. Yeah. We just found out. We, we wanted kids from the start. I just never thought I'd be a really good father. Good father, I mean, what? A good father doesn't get his child killed before he's born. Hey. Yeah, I was, I always felt he was a boy. Lily's not alone. I used to look, I used to leave her alone a lot, you know, and she never complained. And I, I used to like, uh, I'd come home and she'd be on the couch and she had this big smile. Carly? Hey, honey. When did you get here? Just now. Yeah, hi. Hey, um, the table's waiting. Okay, this is, this is my husband, <laughs> Professor Alcazar. This is, um... Yes, Sarah. I've read about Mr. Krentos. Yeah, I bet you have. Okay, um, thank you, thank you for your time. You are welcome. Don't go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what was that about? Um, his wife just died. Yes, starting his car. It's an effective way to get rid of the competition. And it's horrible. Yes, it is. That's the life the man chose. I don't want you anywhere near it, Carly. Why 
he just seemed sad and I wanted to help. But you can't help a man like Corintos. I know. My father and my brother are the same. Promise me you'll stay away from him. I probably will never say three words to the man again. Promise. Okay. All right, if it makes you feel better, I... I... I promise. Thank you. what I, I saw our son do there tonight. Michael misses you, but you know, he's 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 doing okay. He trusts that you're gonna be home soon. And Morgan's just amazing. He's just beautiful. I mean he's his heart is perfect. Jason Courtney and Michael are with him right now. They're giving him all the love. That he needs. Um, wait, you carried him for nine months, protected him against every danger. You gotta wake up so you can see your child. Do you think I'm looking fat? I should ask you, as slim and beautiful as that. Mm, yeah, well, I guess it's just a pound or so right now. What do you mean? Mm, no, in about nine months, it's going to be more like 25 pounds. You're pregnant? <laughs> I went to the doctor to double check, but yeah, you're going to be a daddy. Oh, you are going to be the most beautiful mother in the whole world. <laughs> oh, no, it's oh. unexpected, but wow! Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. I forgot I've got to be more careful. <laughs> no, you don't. You have to kiss me. I love you. I love you too. I tried everything else now to bring it back. How about bribery? I was gonna, I was planning on buying something, you know, to mark the baby's birth. I, I tell you what, um, you know, like a, I don't know, diamond bracelet, necklace. I will give you, this is good, I will give you permission. You can buy anything you want in the whole wide world. You gotta come back to me. Excuse me, Mr. Corinthos? Yeah. You have an urgent call holding. All right. Hello. Hey, I, I, I know you was Carly. I don't want to bother you, but you need to come home. Is the baby all right? It's fine. Awesome. But he and Michael need you now.
would be unimaginable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right. You can let me go any minute No, no, no. <laughs> I have just witnessed a miracle. Our child inside you. Yeah. You gotta give me a minute to come back down to Earth. No. All right, my mom is upstairs working on the 10th floor. I'm gonna go check in with her, tell her the checkup went well. I'll meet you at the car, okay? All right. Okay. Don't be late. What? I wanna take you out to dinner to celebrate. Yeah? Yeah. You spoil me, you know that. Well, actually, I happen to think it's the other way around. You've given me everything I've ever wanted. Mm. Okay. In that case, I'll let you take me to dinner. Mm. <laughs> it's a date. Okay. first child. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Oh, uh, oh. Oh. You all right? Yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm fine. Um, doesn't seem like the elevator's moving, though. <laughs> Ooh, I hope you're not claustrophobic. <laughs> well, let's hope we're not stuck here long enough to find out. <laughs> yeah. children are targets as long as they stay in Port Charles. My sons belong with me. You're a wonderful father, Sonny, you are. But there's no telling when Carly is going to wake up and you can't leave her. Look, I promised you that I would take care of your children until you and Carly come home. I'm getting out of the business. Yeah, I know. I know, and I, I think it's wonderful, and I hope you succeed. You know what? It's going to take time to make that transition. And you can't focus on that until Carly's well. In the meantime, you got, you your kids your are in danger. You got your answer, Courtney. The boys are staying with Sonny. That's it. <sighs> Where would you take our children? Um, a little town across the state line. Hayes Landing. Look, I, I, I saw it in one of the brochures you had me look at when you were trying to send me away to college. Sunny is peaceful. It's pretty. I looked it up on the internet and it's like they've had zero homicides in almost 10 years. No bullets flying, no cars exploding. Yeah, this is. This is their home. I mean, you know. This place could be too. Your children, Sonny. So please just let me give them what you can. Let me keep them safe. Take them. Do what Carly would want. Co you, you know that's wrong. Courtney, I've known Carly a hell of a lot longer than either of you, and I know damn well she wouldn't want her kids taken away from her or Sonny. Carly's children mean everything. Bobby to gave Carly up for adoption. Did you know that? For the same reasons you're preaching right now, to give her a better life. Carly never thanked Bobby for that. Carly would do anything. This, this life is two boys. This life isn't perfect. We know that. No life is. But Morgan and Michael are wanted here. They're loved. They're protected as well as they can be. Dragging those kids away from their parents is going to hurt them as badly as anything else will. That is not true. And Sonny knows it even if you don't. Sonny, come on. Come on, she's panicking. It's plain and simple. Don't let her take your kids away. You need time to focus and think on what Carla would really want, and that's for you to hold your family together. I can't do that right now. I'm on edge. Carly would want our sons to live. This is the only way to make sure. Thank 
excuse. I'm asking you as a friend to help Courtney. To make sure she has everything she needs to take my boys away. I am just as determined as you are, Carly. I'll find a way to have you, not with threats or with guns. I'll have you because you choose me. You trust me now. I can build on that. Just wake up and let me. obvious. I don't want to put them in any more danger. But if you think for whatever reason that I'm making a mistake, you need to wake up. Help me find what's right for our family. Hey. Michael wanted to say goodbye before we got on the road. Yeah, yeah, I want to say goodbye, too. When can you come back? Uh, we gotta wait till Mommy wakes up. Do you want to, do you want to give, uh, Mommy a kiss? Yes. Okay, be careful because she's got stuff, you know. Okay, watch your, watch your. Uh, 
Are you okay? I get like this when I'm in enclosed places, you know, no reason for it. I just... So, I'm sorry you have to wash. No, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to, to drive. <laughs> like, I mean, really afraid. I get paralyzed if I'm behind a wheel, so you don't, you don't need to explain. Oh. You okay? Oh. You all right? Yeah. Is it the baby? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. The baby just kicked. It's cool. <laughs> Maybe he or she's going to be a soccer player. <laughs> Do you want to feel? No, no, I have to not. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. You can... Come here, feel. feel. <sighs> Do you feel that? No. Oh, wait. Like a little flirt? Yeah, that's him. That's, he's kicking. Or she's kicking. <laughs> hey. I guess we're moving now. Yeah. We're going to be rescued. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be out of here in a minute. that night at Luke's Corinthos is dangerous. I couldn't exactly choose who I got stuck in an elevator with. I've told you about my family's business. I've never taken you to meet them because I don't want that life touching us. Corinthos is the same. He takes what he wants. He's ruthless. The further you are away from him, the better. See that woman over there? Yeah, what about her? I'm on her fall 24-7. All right, I'll get Benny on it. Why? Something about her gets to me. Makes me care. I want to have her. Corny's, she's taking good care of them. But they really, they, they really need to be with their mommy. I went back to the penthouse for a little while, and it's like it was when I lived there alone, you know. Michael's trucks aren't scattered all over the place, and you know, the little computer game he had that went beep, 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 got on my nerves. It's not there, and you know, you're not on the phone driving me crazy. Courtney packed up all, all, all the baby stuff. I guess you had already put it together so everything, everything's in order. There's no junk food in the refrigerator. Your clothes aren't scattered all over the bedroom. But it's, uh, it's dark there. It's like nobody lives there. You need to come back. You need to fill up my life again. Does this dress make me look fat? You've been asking me that same question for months. Oh, so in other words, I look like a barn? You're the most beautiful barn I've ever seen. Just stop. You know what? I have never been happy here. Really? Mm-hmm. Promise. Promise. <laughs> what did you find out? You go to Jake's every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Woman likes to shoot pool, and then they dance. All right. Next Tuesday, her hubby will be delayed, mm -hmm. and she'll just happen to run into me. Some 
full of jigs. Huh? Say what you got to say and get out of here. What do you know about the massacre of the five families? I was racing able to walk away without a scratch. Uh, did it? I had no idea. Faith Roscoe made any threats? I have nothing to do with Faith Roscoe or the five families. I've retired. That's impossible. Look, I can understand you wanting to change your life considering everything that's happened. But you can't just walk away from your business, Sonny. Well, you don't know how to do anything else. It's part of you. It's your life's blood, no matter how it affects your family. You don't understand anything about me, ADA, Lansing. You, you don't understand what I want and what I'll do to get it. And that's fine. But what you need to understand is... I haven't forgotten what you did to Carly. And I haven't forgotten you put this train in motion. And you're gonna pay for it. So much for retirement. Well, I'm not gonna lift a finger. I'm old, and someone will collect on my behalf. I'm not afraid of you, Sonny. Oh, yeah, you are. You know, eventually, Faith is gonna wind up dead. And when she does, I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna personally put you in a jail cell. And you'll never see Carly again. Did you like the backyard? Where's Rosie? On the back porch. Did she like it? She's a dog. She likes everything. <laughs> you know, I bet they have a real nice school here. I like my old school. Can you just try and think of this as a big adventure? Michael, wait. Daddy? How you doing? Did Mommy wake up? No, not yet. Why don't I come home? Uh, you get listen, you, you need to stay there with your little brother, okay? Take care of him. But I want to be with you and Mommy. Please come and get us. I, listen, buddy, I got to stay with your mama. Sonny. <sighs> Where'd he go? In the other room. This is really difficult for him. How's, how's it Morgan? Fine, so far he's taking a nap. What about Jason? He's working. Look, I know he's angry. He listens to you, Sonny. Would you just please get him to understand that I'm doing this because... Uh, you know what? Someone's at the front door. Who is it? There's, um, one of the railings is broken. The realtor sent someone over to fix it. Listen, please, can you call back later tonight? I think it's good for Michael to hear your voice. I just, I just spoke with Michael. And, uh... He's homesick. I mean, you, you can't blame the kid. He'll like the house once he gets used to it. Courtney says there's a big backyard there. Maybe little Morgan can learn how to walk the grass under his feet. If not there, then, w you know, wherever we move to when you wake up. Change our names, change, you know, everything, whatever we got to. We can be like everybody else and start over. So the tires are smashed. Thank you, Max. Can I get you anything? Yeah. I'd like about 
17 milkshakes and 93 bags of cheese puffs. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. My husband will be here any minute now. Yeah, I understand. Well, you look you look great. Um, baby's baby's fine. Yeah. Thanks. I hate to see a woman alone in a bar. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled about it myself. God, where the hell is he? I... I, here, you know what? I got a phone. You no, 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 no. It's fine. You know what? I, I he's probably just held up at a business meeting. some orange juice because I, I I don't I don't think they, they make milkshakes here. <laughs> mm, no, I'm cool. Hey, how's this? If I beat you at a game of eight ball, then you can buy me some orange juice. And when I do that, when my husband shows up, you can buy him a drink too. You, you, you've never seen me play pool. Well, that's the bet. Take it or leave it. I think I'll take it. Oh. All right, let's go. When you wake up, we'll have a brand new life. A safe life. Like you wanted from the start. Bobby, they got your page. Are the test results in? Why did you move my grandchildren out of state without my consent? And why did I have to find out about it Courtney, from the bodyguard? Courtney took the children to a small town to keep them safe. I want to visit my grandchildren. Sure, I know that. I'm, I'm arranging that right now. I just wanted them to settle down, you know. Plus, I didn't want you to be followed. I am their grandmother. Did it ever even occur to you to ask if I'm okay, okay with this? Okay, look, I'm going through a lot of stuff right now, okay? Courtney would want... They keep the kids safe. I am keeping them safe. Can you imagine what this is like for Michael? How confused he must be. Bobby, you agreed that, that, that Corny should take care of the children. But not all by herself in a brand new town. Corny doesn't have any experience with, with children. And what if the baby gets sick? Did you make any kind of arrangements for a pediatrician? And what about Michael? How much more do you expect the kid to take? Sonny, how could you possibly send him away from his home and away from me? What if he runs away? Okay, I'm doing what's best. I'm doing what's best for my children. I, I'm not going to put them at risk. Well, you should, you should put a bullet through my daughter's head, didn't you? And you don't seem to mind sending her children away. And if Carly doesn't wake up, I'm going after those children myself. Because I don't trust you to raise them. I'd like to take you to visit Italy someday. We go to Rome first. I'll show you the ruins and the museums. Then we can take the train to Tuscany. Stop in all the little towns and save Florence for the grand finale. We could stay at the Villa San Michele. Sit out on the terrace, look out over the countryside. Sonny. I'm glad I caught you. What's wrong? I don't want you to think that I'm pushing Carly out of the hospital because I'm not. But you really need to start making arrangements for a long-term care facility for her. I'll take her home, Alan. That's not my recommendation. I'll set up everything that needs to be set up. Listen, it's your decision. I'm simply advising you it's not doing Carly any good to stay here in the hospital. We've done everything we can for her. I'm sorry. <laughs> response to my voice her heart rate increases because she's afraid of you you're a sick man i'm helping her your help you put her in here as much as i did with your obsession your mind games has she responded to you <laughs> yes <gasps> hey up 
Did I just get hustled? You just lost. I just won. You owe me orange juice and french fries. Uh, I never agreed to fries. Sure you did. They're not good for you. Trying to weasel your way out of the No, I'm, I'm a man of my word. All right, then I want french fries. Mm. What's going on here? <sighs> Sonny's buying. He just lost a bet. Probably may have a word with you. I was shooting pool to pass the time. I was waiting for you. I was worried. I was late because my tires were slashed. But why didn't you call me? My cell phone vanished. Credentials probably had it stolen. Oh, my God. Do you know how crazy all of this sounds? I know how he thinks. My brother thinks the same way. You know what? what? I'm not afraid of you. Why would you be? Stay away from my wife. I would advise you to stay away from me. Okay, well, I'll both... do whatever it takes to protect my family. Just stop it, both of you. Back off. It was a game of pool. Sonny knows that I'm happily married. You want Carly all to yourself in a permanent coma or vital and awake with my help? Can you get this through your head? She doesn't need your help. You want to help Carly? Like you helped my sister when you kidnapped her? Like you helped Carly when you flew her down to South America and held her hostage? Yes, Sonny Carentos. He's obsessed with my wife. I've told him to leave her alone, but he won't. Look, Luis, I need to have him. Gracias, Luis. What are you doing? Huh? You just called your brother and asked him to kill Sonny, didn't you? Corinthos is dangerous. He hasn't done anything wrong. He will because he wants you. I don't want him. It, it doesn't matter. I have to get rid of him before he gets rid of me. I helped Carla give birth. You came in and shot us both. She's in a coma because you pulled that trigger. Get out of here. I'm not leaving Carly. Um, there are some new developments in Carly's condition. Jason, get him out of here. Actually, Mr. Alcazar should hear this. What times have I asked you to listen to me? I hope you can hear me now. Our lives have stopped without you, Carl. Sonny can't do anything but stay here. Stay close to you, waiting and praying that you'll wake up, and he should, but he's at this place, Carly, where he doesn't care what happens to him. Michael and Morgan need their mother. Courtney took him away to a place that she thinks is safe, and she's not going to bring him back until you wake up. You know, I'm trying to hold everything together here, and... It's no good. And I miss you. I need you back. You just spent the last 10 minutes wasting my time using long scientific words, trying to explain that you don't, you don't know why this is happening. You don't know if it's a good sign. What if Carly doesn't get better? That's not what you told me yesterday, Tony. Carly is responding on some level. What if she's hearing what we say? What if she's responding to her dreams? The point is, Carly. No, the point right. is, I don't want this man stalking my wife. If you want to do it in a medical way, Tony, then you go ahead and do it. Otherwise, I'm going to sit by my wife. I'm going to hold your hand. I'm going to talk to her. You can do more. You can let Mr. Alcazar visit with Carly because the monitors indicate that she responds to his voice. Courtney thinks she's doing what you would want. But I, I know she's wrong. I know you wouldn't want your kids away from you or Sonny. I mean, the boys are safe. Courtney's safe. That should be enough. I should be able to let this go, but I can't. You know I love Courtney. But she's wrong. I miss her. All I want for you is just wake up, okay? For Courtney to come home.
doctor say? As long as she's in a coma, the best chance of her coming out. Come on, there's got to be something they can do. They have this uh, radical new therapy. Lorenzo Aguilar. Tony claims that Carly's responding to Alcazar's voice. Oh, come on, that can't be right. Could be That's... fear, could be anger, but either way, Tony says that any sign is a good sign. The fact that she's reacting, you know, it helps her chances. So he, uh, he wants Alcazar to sit with her. Dr. Jones has been wrong before. He's wrong about me. If, if there's a slight chance, then I owe it to Carly to give it to her. Let's not forget who fired the bullet that's in her head. thinks you are a dangerous man. Yeah. What, do you, what, what do you think? I think he's a fine, upstanding man. Sounds like a speech for a politician, man. Well, that's not what I meant. No, I'm sorry. It's, you're right. It's, it's uh, uh, you know, loving your husband is a, is a good thing. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I'm grateful for your reflexes and whatever prompted you to uh, save my life. differently but I can't and I can't move forward unless you come back to me I need you to come back look I don't know what to do okay I don't know what's right or wrong now the doctors are telling me that Alcazar's voice is reaching you Maybe he's making you angry, maybe he's scaring you, maybe he's making you remember things that you don't want to remember. But even, even so, bad thoughts are better than you. Slipping further and further away. I'm a... I just pray that I'm not hurting you more by doing this. But I'm desperate, and I don't know what else to try. You were right not to fire a second shot. You could have hit my wife. Could be there after your payment tomorrow. Are you suicidal? Is Corinto so important to you that you risk our baby's life as well as your own? No, I didn't want him to die because he flirted with me. Are you in love with him? No, I am in love with you. My husband, the history professor who refused to go into his family's illegal business. You're not a violent man, Lorenzo. No, but Corinto says this is the only way to defend us against him. No, you're wrong. Sonny is not a threat to our happiness. But his murder would shatter our lives. It would always hang over us. Over our marriage, over our children, over our future. 
Please, Lorenzo. Please cancel the hit on Sunny. You didn't show up for work. Hmm. What did you tell her? Oh, I um, pretended the cell phone went out of range and I hung up so I could find you and get an answer. Is that it? No. It has a name. It is out on the street getting away with literal murder when he's not stalking my wife. Oh, forget Sonny. How can I when he always comes between you can us? stop putting he him He goes out of his way to run into you, buy you expensive yeah, presents. so what, And whether you admit or not, he is making inroads. That is not true. You know, calling off that hit was a mistake. Do you have any idea how insulting it is when you leave me out of the equation? Like it's some sort of spitting contest between you and Sonny and I'm extraneous? As far as I'm concerned, the only thing that should matter is what I want. And that is you and our life together. And this baby, which we conceived in love, which is about to make some grand howling entrance in a couple of weeks. We should not be fighting, Lorenzo, especially now, especially over someone that does not matter. You haven't answered my question. Where was I? I was planning an evening for us together. So we could have some fun like we used to. I made a reservation at the cellar. I thought we could have dinner, we could go out dancing, maybe. I have papers to correct. No, you have a life. But you need to live with me. I have an appointment with Dr. Meadows first. I will meet you afterwards, okay? few of my friends, just in case you guys... Vic, 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 get back, get back. There's no need for that, Xander. So you pulled off a uh, pretty big coup the other night. Wasting the heads of the five families. Don't you think, uh, you know, trying to mess around with Carly's club is a little juvenile? Don't sweat it. My insurance will cover any damage I choose to inflict. Because, you see, this isn't Carly's club anymore. Thank you. 